Our senior correspondent, John Huddy, joins us now live in Eagle Pass, Texas, with the latest. John, good morning. Yeah, Emma and Sean, good morning to you. A delegation of 60-plus uh, GOP lawmakers will be here. We actually bumped into two of them, Matt Gates and Andy Biggs, in the lobby of the hotel where we're staying in here in Eagle Pass. They started getting in here yesterday afternoon. Uh, some of them came down to the region to meet with border officials ahead of today's delegation meeting, led by Speaker Mike Johnson, who posted several messages on X. And I want to go through them because they're important. The first one he posted yesterday afternoon, he writes, 60-plus House Republicans are heading to Texas, like I said. They're already here. There are, some of them are already in the region. Uh, to see firsthand and highlight the impact of Biden's border crisis, this situation requires significant policy changes, and House Republicans will continue advocating for real solutions that actually secure our border. And then in a second post yesterday evening, he writes, here is Eagle Pass just weeks ago versus yesterday. I would argue that just a few days ago, it was very crowded right in this spot behind me. This is where migrants, when they cross the river just on the other side of the bridge here and they enter the United States, this is essentially where they're corralled before they go to processing facilities. Well, Johnson goes on to add the Biden administration decided to divert the flood of illegal immigrants to another location in order to keep them out of the camera shots during the ad house GOP's visit to Eagle Pass. Don't be fooled. They are still being released into our country under President Biden. Our southern border is a disaster. Now, White House spokesperson Andrew Bates in a statement argued that Republicans have, quote, an anti-border security record because they'd obstructed President Biden's proposals and voted against border security funding. Obviously, there's a lot of pushback from the GOP on that. It's a major issue of contention that will likely be talked about during the tour today in which these Republican lawmakers will be meeting with border officials. They will be seeing Eagle Pass for themselves, talking to officials and then addressing the media as well. All this, as, as you mentioned, Sean and Emma, the House Homeland Security Committee, is moving forward with uh, formal impeachment proceedings against uh, DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas starting January 10th. Mayorkas is scheduled to be here in Eagle Pass as well to meet with officials to see the scene and tour the area, the Del Rio sector for himself on January 8th ahead of those hearings. Back to you. Uh, that's senior correspondent John Huddy. John, really quickly, what do we expect to see from these Republican lawmakers on site today? I know that you said you, you bumped into a few there at the hotel room. We'd obviously see them later um, in speaking about the migrant crisis. But uh, this crisis has been going on, as you yeah. know, and has re been reporting on uh, for, for years now. What is new today that yeah. we may hear from them? Well, possibly uh, a push for more legislation now that we're in the new year. Uh, I know some of them, you know, perhaps haven't been here yet. Uh, so, you know, this delegation is a show of strength. It's a show of unity and force uh, that they are going to continue to hammer on this. And obviously now, as the news is coming out about the Homeland Security Committee, the formal hearings against my orcas. So all of this kind of fits together. They're going to be meeting with border officials. It kind of a show and tell for the media. We're going to be there. We're going to be following that. Uh, they'll make some statements and then there'll be a formal press conference with the entire delegation a little bit later this afternoon.